Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Tony Tone back again with another food test review kind of thing. So I went to Wendy's and I had them put the uh, ghost pepper sauce, you know, from the jalapeno chicken sandwich thing and those ghost fries. Well, I had them put that sauce on a Baconator because I think the reason it wasn't so spicy, at least for me, was because the the breading from the chicken soaked up some of the heat, you know, and some of the sauce. So I had them put it on the Baconator because it doesn't have any breading on it. So I want to see if this helps it, see if it makes it, you know, a little bit more spicy. Let's give it a shot. And you know, it's the same thing with the fries. I mean, it's pure, you know, it's pure carbs. Mmm. Oh, without all that liquid cheese. Mmm. You definitely get a lot more heat. It's still not really overwhelming. But it's definitely present. More so than with the chicken. And the cheese on the fries. Let's hit this burger again. Mm. And of course they put the you know the mayo and the ketchup on there. Man, that is really good. Wendy's, you need to do that. Offer the the ghost pepper baconator. Put it on your burgers. And you know, guys, you can ask for it. Because, I mean, all I did was ask. I was like, can you put the ghost sauce on a baconator? And they're like, yeah, sure. So, definitely give it a try. I definitely recommend it. So, that's my review. I definitely would recommend this over the chicken sandwich, but that's just me. I would definitely give this a low five. You know, because the, the chicken sandwich thing, I gave that a four and a half. This is definitely better for me. So, I give it a five. So, there you go. Get it. And tell me what you think. Leave it in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next review.